Hi everyone. Uh, so in this tutorial, we will be creating a React app or a quiz app, uh, and we'll be using the Open Trivia database for our API. So what I've done is uh, just gotten some mock data for us, and once we have the app built, then we can just uh, point it to the actual endpoint or the actual API. Uh, it's got a results object, it's an array of objects, and you've got a question and a bunch of answers. So that's what we'll be displaying, and we'll be picking the right answer. Now, so I put this in the public folder so that when we run it, the, in the uh, file can be picked up. I think if you put it in the source folder, it's not going to be picked up. So that's that. And the app.js app is just a pretty blank project when you create it. So there's uh, not much going on here. Now to load my uh, data, um, I will. I can just read from the file directly, but since I'll be use, uh, reading from the endpoint anyways at the end from the API, so we will use Axios. And you can just install it like that. Once that is installed, then what we can do is uh, we can just bring it in. So I'll say import uh, Axios from Axios. So that's that. And then I need to read my file. Now to uh, read the file or do network IO, what React recommends is they're doing it in the use effect hook. So I think we need to bring that first. So I'll just come in here and I'll say use effect. And then I'll say use effect, takes a callback function. And what we can do is uh, load the data load data. Now, uh, load data of course doesn't exist, so we need to define it first. Now this will be an uh, async function, and I'll uh, explain why. So we'll say load data, and then what we can do is we can say const data is equal to await axios dot get, and we need to define our endpoint. So we need async because we are uh, we have this await. So you can only await within an async function. Now what's the endpoint? So let's define that. The endpoint for now is just the mock.json file. And later on we can just replace this with the actual URL and we'll be good to go. Now once the data has been loaded, then I guess we need to, we're just gonna console log it just to make sure um, you know, things are good, so data, like that. So I'll save it, and yes. So we are getting our data right here. So as you can see, the data is in the data object, so I think we should just do data, that data, kind of redundant names. I think I'll just name this quiz data, just so that it's kind of clear. Okay, so there you go. So you got your array of quiz objects. So we got a question and everything as we saw in the file. Cool. So let's clear that. Now, um, once that is done, then we can, um, you know, uh, start displaying it, I guess, here on the screen. So we're going to have a structure to this app. The, we're going to have a quiz as a container component and then all the other components, the answer, the question, maybe some actions, they will reside within it. I'll just come over here, I'll minimize this and I'll create a new folder. I'm going to call it components. Within that I'll create a quiz component. So let's do the do. And we're going to import react from react. And then we're just going to do create our function. And let's for starters just return a uh, quiz. What the heck, right? So with that done, then we're just going to come over here and we will say quiz is going to complain because it doesn't know what quiz is so we'll say quiz from quiz I think I need to do this right uh, from not from uh, what happened yes so it has to be components 
There you go. Components. All right, I just need to close it and open it back up. All right, so I just refresh the app and sometimes it just, if you make a mistake here, it will just get stuck, so yeah. Okay, so with that done, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass in the quiz data over to the quiz container. The, the only thing the app component is pretty much doing is just loading the data and then it's gonna give it to the whoever needs it. So we're gonna just pass it in the quiz, let's say data, and it's gonna be, um, well, quiz data. But then what is quiz data, right? We need to define that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna define this in a state and we'll say um, use state. I'm just gonna come here and I'll say const data quiz set data, All right? And then we will say use state. Now these Okay, so we're just gonna pass the data now. So once that is done, then I'll just say set data and we will say uh, quiz data dot data. Once that is done, that's gonna be available here. I'll go into my quiz component and we'll just print this out. I'll use a use effect and I'll just say use effect and we're going to console log props data. Of course, it doesn't know what props is, so we're just going to pass those. And if everything went well, we should save everything. Okay, so the thing is now just it just keeps on printing this uh, again and again. And that's because use effect uh, just keeps calling this function. And one way of uh, stopping it from doing this, so we just add this empty array. I'm gonna save it. I think I need to refresh this. And there it stops. So I'll just clear this. Okay, so one thing I see is the, um, if you look at the actual source, we have this results object. So I think we're just gonna pass in that into our quiz. Uh, and for the, for the data, what I'll do is I'll just create uh, an object. And within that, I'll just say questions, and we can set that to our uh, actual data. So it'll be just an empty array. Okay, and then I need to come over here and I need to set this object. So I'll just curly it, and you will say questions set to that. And we're gonna save it, and if you come down here, we're, gonna, we're printing our uh, questions. So now let's start uh, displaying a question and see if we can just go through it by clicking a button next. So to do that, what I'll do is I'll just come here uh, and I'll say um, just another H3. And let's see if I can do props.data.question. We'll just go with the first one, dot question. So if you come here, we're just basically saying Go, go through, um, well, we need to do props.data.questions, right, it's questions. And then we go through the first one and uh, we display the question. So we are just gonna do that. And do, 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 it's saying, can I read property question of undefined? Right, so the first time it comes in, uh, it's an empty array and then it, it's gonna run on the next, uh, it's gonna display it on the next run because once the DOM renders, then the use effect runs, I think. So one thing we can remedy this is we can come here, we can create a constant question, and we can do something like this, props.data.questions.length is greater than zero, then you give me the question, right? So we can take that and I'll replace this with that Q. Otherwise, just return null. 
So, oh, nice. So we got our first question. Now we need a way to propagate uh, forward. So what we can do is add a button and we'll call it next. And when this button is pressed, then what we want to do is it's going to add a click handler. We'll say uh, next question. So now, of course, this function is not defined. It's going to complain. So we're just going to come here. We'll say next question, the function. And what we want to do is some kind of an index and we want to increment it. To do that, we're going to use a use state, which I've already imported. And uh, I'll just set it up here. So what I'll do is I'll just do something like um, set index index plus one. And let's fix the indentation. And instead of the zero here, what I can do is I'll just say idx. So let's save it. So if I hit uh, next now, I should see the next question. All right. Now you see these uh, um, kind of quote, I guess. They were supposed to be quotes, but because of the decoding, it's using the uh, symbol, I guess, or the uh, coding for it. So later on, once we're done with the, our quiz, we can then replace this with the proper characters. For now, we'll just leave it. So there you go. That's pretty good. We can now go through the questions. I guess in the next uh, tutorial, I'll uh, then start looking in how, how we can display the answers.